I was so nervous before I went out. It's like, this is my first time back in the theaters too. So we all did it together. I, I said to the audience, but I meant it is, when we decided to pull the movie, my last tweet was, I'm gonna bring this movie out when it's safe that we can all watch it together. And today's that day, which was so thrilling and weirdly emotional and exciting and all those things. And so to have everybody in the audience really meant a lot to me. And I know it means a lot to everybody in this whole theater family, all the people who work at these theaters across the country. And it's, it's really good. So come back and see our movie, but come back and see any movie. It's all very, very exciting. We made this movie for the theaters. So the, you know, not only visually from the first one did we do a bunch of new things and the world's bigger and the tension's bigger and all those things because they're no longer safe at home. But from a sound perspective, I mean, we knew how much people loved being in the audience, uh, being quiet, and then when it got loud and playing with sound all around. So to me, we spent so much time making sure that this experience here was unlike any experience you can, you can watch this movie. And so for me, this is the only way to see this movie. For me, it's funny, I didn't even know that I was gonna do a sequel. The studio asked if I would do a sequel and I said no, and the reason why is, I think I was still overwhelmed by the um, outpouring of generosity of the first movie. And then the second thing was, I didn't know I could make a movie as personal as the first one, as psychotic as it sounds, the first movie was a love letter to my kids. And so the second movie to me had to be as organic and as powerful emotionally as the first one. And I think a lot of people think that sequels just become a sequel just because you can. And I certainly didn't want any part of that. So what I did was I had one idea in my head, which was um, what if you made Millie the lead of this movie? And this little girl is unbelievable in this movie. She carries the movie. And it really became this idea of if the first movie was about the promise we all make to our kids, which is I'll be there for you always. All parents know that that promise is going to be broken inevitably. And so the second movie is about when that promise is broken, which is what growing up really is. And so these kids learn to go out into the world on their own. And so I hope people take from it, hope, that idea of when you're scared, when things get um, uh, dark or, or sad, that you just put one foot in front of the other and you try to uh, do it all, all together. You can't do this on your own. You have to find people to do it with. Every single danger. I mean, it's funny because I, when I was writing the script, I thought, oh, it will be, you know, the, the world will be bigger because they get to expand, uh, you know, the, the places that they go, the locations they go. What I didn't realize is when we got to the end of the path, when you actually leave the farm, there was a sand path that we had down and they came to the end, it's in the movie. And when Emily takes that first step, you do realize that every step they take from now on could be their last. And so everything's heightened. Um, we get to see even the surrounding town. And so I had always written that it was a steel mill town. Um, my dad grew up in Pittsburgh, and so he worked in the steel mill. His dad worked in the steel mill. And so I really wanted to base the, the story in a steel mill town. And so we got to go up to Buffalo and shoot all these amazing steel mills. And then you're gonna see how everybody else is living. That's the key. And I, in the first movie, my character lights a fire to communicate silently with people to make sure they're okay. Well, this movie starts with the little girl lighting the fire to see where they can go because they have nowhere else to, to be. The, the farm has been compromised. And so this excitement and hope that there's somewhere else they can go quickly turns into a nightmare of, well, who else is out there and what are they gonna be like? But certainly how it separates from the first one is it's bigger. It's definitely bigger in scope. The um, action and the thrills and the scares are bigger because you're so worried about this family, because everywhere they go is completely uncharted. They have no idea what's waiting for them around the corner. And um, I think that getting to see the rest of the world is very scary. And I think that that idea of, are you going to survive all this alone or are you gonna find other people to survive it with? And, and I do hope that people feel that community is the only way to go, that we will only make it through any sort of dark time if we do it together.